Welcome to Switched On Schoolhouse, a CD-ROM based homeschool curriculum from Alpha Omega Publications. Switched On Schoolhouse Old Testament Survey is a high school Bible course typically included in a 10th grade course of study. Units include Creation to Abraham, The Exodus and Wanderings, The Judges and Spiritual Decline, The Divided Kingdom, the captivity, and much more. Now let's take a look at an Old Testament survey lesson to see how concepts like these are covered. In a unit entitled Abraham through Joseph, let's look at a lesson called Abraham, Call from God. Most Switched on Schoolhouse lessons begin with a brief introduction and a list of objectives for the lesson. These objectives help students stay focused on important lesson content and provide parents with an effective way to measure mastery of lesson content. At the beginning of most lessons, your students will also encounter a list of vocabulary words that will be used throughout the lesson. We've included several activities to encourage mastery of these important words. For example, students can hear the correct pronunciation of each word. Sarahi or Sarai. Covenant. In addition, the vocabulary arcade games encourage mastery of the vocabulary words by providing practice in the correct spelling of each word and in matching each word with its definition. Let's look at a sample. Flashcards allow students to easily review the words and their definitions. After this introductory material, your students then move independently through the lesson, reading the text-based instruction and utilizing the multimedia features that have been provided. Most Bible lessons require students to read a portion of Scripture as part of their study. All scripture passages quoted within a lesson are highlighted in blue. Parents may select to utilize either the King James Version or New American Standard versions of the Bible. Many lessons include small instructional videos, sometimes called Tiny Tutors. The teachers featured in these small video clips provide special instructions, additional information, and important tips for students. The first four of the Ten Commandments deal with our relationship to God. We are to have no other gods before Him and to make no idols. We are not to misuse God's name and we are to keep the Sabbath holy. The community in which you live may not worship idols like the moon god Ninar. But, like Abraham, you will have to guard yourself against worldly influences. How can you do this? Following what Jesus said was the greatest commandment, to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. A variety of audio-visual presentations, including videos, slideshows, and animations, provide reinforcement of lesson content. Following God's command, Abraham and his family left the land of Ur. They traveled 600 miles to Haran, a prosperous city. They lived in this trade city for many years. When Abraham was 75 years old, he took his family to the land of Canaan. Then, because of a famine, they spent a short time in Egypt, then went back to the land of Canaan. In the Promised Land, the number of Abraham's descendants grew and grew. God had promised to make of Abraham a great nation. God kept his promise, and the Hebrew nation was the result. You can read all about the Hebrews in the Old Testament. Today, Abraham's descendants are now called the Jewish nation. In some lessons, students are given the opportunity to review and reinforce what they've learned with fun games like Farmer Frank and All Right. Let's take a look at an example.
At the end of the lesson, the student is presented with a series of questions that provide a review of lesson content. Questions are presented in a variety of formats, including matching, fill in the blank, true and false, correct, sequencing, multiple choice, multiple select, click and place, essay questions, and many more. 85 to 90 percent of student work is Correct. graded instantly by the program. Answers are automatically saved as the student works through the questions and immediate feedback is given after each question has been answered. Correct. If a parent has set the program to allow for multiple attempts, students will be looped back through the lesson to answer questions that were marked wrong on the first attempt. Good answer. The lesson is complete when all questions have been answered correctly or when the student has exhausted his allowed attempts on each question. The student can then return to the home page to continue through the rest of his daily assignments.